Well, good morning and welcome back. I'm meteorologist Lauren Wallace. What a gorgeous shot I have to show you. Now here's 41, so east of 41, right along parts of 168, you're going to be running into the very heavy rain close to the airport and then eastbound on 180, Centerville area, looking at some very heavy rain. I'm meteorologist Lauren Wallace, obviously hanging out with some cats. That was Sally. She is all over the place this morning. So I'm with Cat House on the Kings at the Petco Adoption Center, and we are just promoting pet adoptions across the Central Valley. We're trying to clear the shelters. So of course, we have the sun, the earth, and the moon all lined up, so the moon was in the earth's shadow. It's called the super blue blood moon. There are three elements to this. Literally one minute ago, we showed you just sleeping puppies in a dog pile, but look what we did. We added a cat to the mix. We have a couple of cheerleaders here, and they all woke up, and now they're all playing again. So the game is back on. They've taken their naps, and they're ready to rumble again. So here's a look at your future cast. This is 7 o'clock this morning. If you're heading out the door to the bus stop, just have all of your rain gear and expect it to be a slow morning commute. So take your time this morning. There's noon. Still going to be seeing some widespread rain. And for us, it's the fog that's yeah. going to mess yeah. up our visibility. And in fact, we had a report earlier in Hanford that said, oh, we started to catch it when it became a partial yeah. eclipse. And then the fog just came in. It's okay, we have your back. <laughs> but it's sitting in a very warm body of water. There's not a lot of wind shear, so nothing's really going to be ripping the storm apart, and that's only going to allow it to intensify as it makes its way toward the coastline of Texas. Or let's fast forward through the afternoon. So by your evening commute, we're going to have some of those values, as I mentioned, between 20 and 30 miles per hour. And this is sustained. So just like yesterday, we'll be talking about gusts over 35 miles per hour. But today I'm outside, and I'm outside at the best time of the day. Of course, we've been starting out temperatures in the 70s across most of the Central Valley, which, by the way, is a little bit cooler compared to the last couple of mornings. Yep, Crestman's near Shaver Lake, and that is close to 5,000 feet, so we've had snow there. And earlier this morning on our radar map, Yosemite Valley was showing some snow, and that's closer to 4,000 feet. So, yeah, definitely good news for us this morning. We've also been, of course, tracking some valley rain. Here's a look at your rainfall total so far this morning. North Valley, just over a tenth of an inch of rain, and this is since midnight. Fresno, close to a quarter of an inch of rain, and then Lemoore coming in at 16 one hundredths of an inch of rain. So, still have some rain in the South Valley, so we'll continue to add just a little bit of water to those rain gauges. Here's where everything is right now. Drier right now, Merced County and most of Madera County. Of course, as you get toward the foothills, just a few light sprinkles and the mountains still seeing a little bit of snow in Madera County. Let's go ahead and zoom in on some of this rain. So here's Fresno winding down a bit for you, but you did have some pockets of heavier rain moving through earlier. So I think we will be seeing some standing water on the highway. So just be extra cautious as you're driving into work this morning. But for right now, we do have a pocket of heavier rain between Highway 168 along along with 180. This is moving eastward. Aubrey, Toll House, you've all had a couple of downpours this morning. Heading a little farther to the south, this is Kingsburg. You're seeing a pocket of heavier rain right now. And then heading eastward toward Orosi, you've had a couple of showers this morning. And then a little farther to the south, 198, you're also seeing some wet roadway. So you want to be careful there. And then continuing southbound on 99, also dealing with some falling rain. So may have some reduced visibilities. Here's everything set into motion. This shows the last six hours. So we've had fairly wide spread rain pushing eastward throughout the valley this morning. Again, most of it is out of the North Valley, so you'll be drier for the rest of today, just leaving a very small chance for an isolated shower in the afternoon hours for your forecast. But I'd say most of you will not need your umbrellas this afternoon, really just for this morning. All this rain is from a cold front that's been pushing through during the morning hours, so as soon as it's out of here, again, we're going to be drier. We'll see some breaks in the cloud cover, so a pretty different story with your afternoon weather. Let's go through your future cast. This is 7 o'clock this morning. Still going to see some lingering rain uh, part of that widespread batch of rain in the South Valley. But as we head towards your lunch hour, notice how that widespread rain is out of here. We'll see some breaks in the cloud cover. So that's noon. But as I mentioned, still keeping just a small chance for an isolated shower in for the rest of the afternoon hours. But many of you will stay dry for the rest of today. So that's 5 o'clock. Evening commute a little easier than what we have this morning. We're going to be mostly clear through the evening hours and tonight. That's going to allow temperatures to cool. So do expect to wake up to some 30s tomorrow morning. Very different from this morning's 4 that's 7 o'clock on your Friday. Some areas of patchy fog will return to the valley, and then we'll see plenty of afternoon sunshine. Temperatures are going to stay in the 50s both today and tomorrow. Current temperatures in the 40s, as I mentioned, 48 Fresno, 44 for you in Los Banos, 49 in Lemoore, Visalia, 48. Porterville currently at 45 degrees, and we're going to warm up to the upper 50s today. Very different from yesterday's 60s. So 57 is your forecast high. The widespread rain basically winding down this morning. Again, just a lingering isolated shower possible later today.
Wednesday. We are going to be much cooler than yesterday, but temperatures are going to be going back up for your weekend. Highs tomorrow similar to today, but it will be drier 57 for your Saturday 58 degrees, and we will still watch for some morning fog all weekend long on Sunday back up to be near 60. Warm up continues early next week 64 Monday 66 Tuesday and 62 Wednesday. We do have our interactive radar at yourcentralvalley.com, so watch that today. You can see where the rain is. Well, that's appropriate for our weather here. We're talking heat and we're also talking humidity. Good morning and welcome back. I'm meteorologist Lauren Wallace. I'm going to start you out with your 24 hour temperature change. Yesterday we had temperatures in the 60s and 70s. Many of you close to average, but wow, what a big difference we have this morning. Seven degrees warmer in Fresno. If you are in Lemoore, it is 13 degrees warmer. So this has pushed some of you into the 80s. This is a look at your current temperature map. 83 degrees in Fresno. You also haven't fallen below 80 degrees in Mendoza this morning. 81 Lamore, 81 Visalia. Otherwise, we have some upper 70s on the map. So a very warm start to the day. And on top of that, it just feels sticky outside. Very muggy. So here's a look at our current stats. This is for Fresno. Very light wind, just at three miles per hour. I also want to point out the dew point. 64 degrees. When we feel a little drier and a little more comfortable, we typically have dew points below about 55 degrees. So when we start getting in the upper 50s, especially into the 60s, you're going to notice that moisture in the air. So it's going to feel very muggy outside. It's exactly what we have around this morning. Here's a look at your forecast high 106 today. Average high 99 degrees. We're going to be running above average for about the next week. It's really not until late this weekend and early next week that we'll get those temperatures back down closer to average. So good news on the way. We will be cooling down after today. Air quality and healthy for sensitive groups in both Fresno and Tulare counties today. Otherwise, you'll be moderate. Here's a look at your radar and satellite picture. Notice that we've had some clouds moving in mainly from the south and east. So Fresno County southward starting out with some clouds a little clearer Madera Merced same with Mariposa counties. I want to show you a couple of wider views. So this is the big picture today still talking about this ridge of high pressure really bringing the heat and I put these colored contours on here to represent just how far north this heat is expanding. So we do have heat advisories excessive heat warnings all the way up the coastline through Portland into Seattle. Portland actually will be in the triple digits for the next couple of days. So just very hot. I want to zoom into parts of Southern California California yesterday getting quite a few showers and thunderstorms. That's all from this low pressure system spinning offshore. So you can see this is pushing in a little bit of that cloud cover to our area. We're also getting some of that moisture. So we're going to be seeing those scattered to widespread showers and storms in the mountains again today. I think some of these could make them uh, down a little lower in elevation. So foothills, even parts of the South Valley and eastern side of the valley will be watching for you. Could get an isolated shower. So let's walk you through your future cast. Just some clouds around this morning. More clouds. Uh, compared to the last few days. This is noon. Afternoon hours again, we'll get the moisture in the higher elevations. Foothills, I think you'll see that chance. And again, watching parts of the east side of the valley, maybe in South Valley, getting that isolated shower. So we'll be watching that for you. Evening hours, there's 10 o'clock. Just going to see some clouds around, partly cloudy skies tonight as well, which means we're not going to be cooling down much. So another warm morning in store for you tomorrow. Another uh, muggy start to the day. And then during the afternoon hours, still going to get those widespread showers and storms in the higher elevations. Elevation. So a fairly active midweek forecast for us. Highs today, as I showed you, 106, extremely hot. We're going to see the moisture in the mountains and very warm and even humid for the next several mornings. I'd say through about Sunday morning, you'll be feeling that morning humidity. 103 for your high tomorrow, so clouds helping us out a little bit. Temperatures going down. 103 for your Friday. Saturday will barely be above 100. And then there you see it, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, a little closer to that average high of 99. So we'll be right at 100. We do have our regional forecast posted at yourcentralvalley.com. Make sure that you're watching those. We'll send